Right, bit of a video for anyone else that wants to solar power their spa. We've got two panels from a hot water service. You can see instructions quite simple, half inch copper, three quarter copper, aluminium sheeting, paint it black, glass cover, two teeth together in the summer, one is going to be ample. They're about 1.2 by 2 metres I think, 5 square metres there. I've got a hose, and this could be tidied up a lot, but I've got a hose and a temperature sensor in the spa, which is running purely off solar heat, and the temperature is at the moment 39 degrees, it's only 1 o'clock, so if I don't turn it off, that'll be way, oh, actually it turns off automatically. That'll be way too hot. That suction pipe runs to 12 volt DC pump. eBay special. Strongly recommend mounting them that way because I had problems with leaks inside and it chewed out the bearings in there. If it's mounted that way, you should notice any leaks before the water runs into the bearing controllers in here 12 volt battery the controller switch is using a horn relay I'm not sure if you can see the screen there but um, it's got the spa temperature the panel temperature the battery voltage I actually built this, <coughs> it's a bit, a bit um, not something you buy off the shelf, but I can set the maximum temp for the spa, I've got it set to 38 and it's actually gone to 39, but it's just because of the difference in the sensors. You can tell it, the start differential set for 20, so the panels have to be 20 degrees hotter than the spa before the pump kicks in and it pumps down until it gets to 10 degrees hotter um, you can tweak those to get more efficiency I've got them set fairly high because my battery was not lasting long enough but it's another story minimum on time is 10 seconds just because I didn't want it cutting in and out and that's it Panels are up to 51 at the moment. So that starts the pump <coughs> once it gets to 20 degrees hotter at the panels. And the pump simply circulates the water into the bottom of the panels. It runs along the header across the bottom. Heat rises to the top. Another header at the top here with another temperature sensor which has got some heat transfer paste and it's just uh, tied onto the copper and then there's the outlet oh, I've actually got that running down and garden hose that goes back into the drain plug inside the spa just here but I'm having trouble because it's getting so hot there we are it's bloody melting the fittings so I'm going to have to get some brass fittings for that probably just a tail and upgrade the hoses because these get really soft because it gets bloody hot in fact I'm a bit concerned that it's going to boil because once it gets to 39 degrees or well, whatever I've got it set to it um, it shuts down until the temperature gets back down the reason for that is because sometimes the spa is just too hot to get in even at night uh, when that happens, I'm worried it's going to just sit there and continue heating, boil the water, and might have a steam explosion. <coughs> and the whole thing 
runs off that 12 volt battery which is charged by that solar panel there 10 watt solar panel seems to be enough and that also powers my hydroponic vegetable patch with my uh, tomatoes and capsicums there we go that's how it works